Hey guys, it's Matthew Stallone here from Stallone Media, bringing you another tutorial on real estate or interior photography and taking your pictures to the next level. If you're a photographer that's out there right now trying to stand out and you want to do something that's different, this video is going to show you ultimately how you can do that. I want to also educate you guys on how flash photography, HDR photography, and then what I call creative photography is so much different. So when you're comparing apples with apples, you're comparing prices with one company to another or photographer to photographer, you got to take a look at all these aspects to make a real good decision because not every photography or every photographer is the same. So let's get started. Let's take you through and how I can help you to improve your images. All right, so let's get started. I wanted to show you the difference on what you can and can't do um, if you decide that you want to do a little bit of extra work in your photography. Now here's an example of three bracketed shots. Usually what a lot of photographers would do is they'd take these three shots, they would blend them together, something like this. And I'm just doing it for the basics of, um, of this tutorial, but we do photo merge, photo merge sorry, and we do HDR. Um, I know there are other programs and software that uh, you use like photo matrix and all that stuff that will make some of this HDR look better. But what I am going to show you will never uh, be able to do what HDR will do. And uh, that's basically creating an image. Um, but let's show you what it looks like. So we're just gonna wait for that to pop up. It's still working its magic. And there it is. So as you can see, that's the HDR DNG. So we can do a white balance here. And then obviously now you get all this blue. We're gonna brighten this up. Maybe put some contrast. We'll try to work the shadows, bring up the dehazing. De and obviously there's still a lot of the blue, not the true white. So you could go in here and just take the blues down. There we go, now the blue's gone. And pretty much call it a day. That's um, you know what it would look like. Again, you can brighten it to whatever extent you want, but then you're gonna start getting blown out lights and everything else. So, you know, this is a personal preference. Um, and again, this is just about HDR. But what I'm going to show you right now is how you can take your photography to the next level. So I'm gonna put this up here and I'm just gonna make it in yellow because that's kind of how I feel about this picture being yellow. Now I'm gonna take, this is a flash image. So first thing that we can do is white balance. And already this looks better than the HDR version. So this is a flash version, the colors of the brown. If you look at the browns over here, you can see the brown tones look a lot better than um, if they were here, these are kind of washed out. And you know, you're looking at the walls or the true colors of the yellows, the whites is a pure white. Um, so there, obviously there's a difference between here. You can kind of see almost like this bluish grayish haze that's over it versus a flash. So let me keep going a little bit further. Now this is what I mean by you taking your photography to the next level. When I stood here and I looked at this, I said, you know, this must look really nice if there's a lot of light coming in. Um, and I want the light to look like it's naturally coming in from the windows and from the doors. So I took an ambient shot and there's my ambient, which we're gonna use later if we, we obviously if we need it. I'm gonna use the white balance. I'm gonna pull down the blues here. And this is strictly going to be as a savior that I might need for some future editing with the ceiling and whatnot. So we're just gonna leave that, we're done. So then what I did was I said, okay, well, let me go outside and try to shoot in some light from the outside. And you can see there from the outside coming in. So we get these like sun rays and beams of light that come through all the cabinetry. So that's the one. And then I go onto the other side and that's another one. Uh, I looked at it and I felt it was a little bit too hot. So you can see that was really bright and overexposed. So I brought it down and that to me was a little bit more realistic in, in terms of how bright that should be. So I'm gonna light this up and I'm gonna say, okay, this is green. I'm going to take my flash image that I have. Oops, uh, this one here and I'm gonna make this green. And then we're gonna to go to the next side. So then from here, I said, okay, well, if I'm lighting this side up, the right side, I need to come across and start lighting up through. So I went over to the other side and there's the other side there. So we're gonna go ahead and light that up in green. And then I took one directly over the tub and did another one. So that is another green. And then I went and I did another blast um, on top. And I'm just gonna bring this down because it was overdone. And I usually do this just as security, but I don't really think I'm gonna need it. So 
Uh, this one here is kind of showing a little bit more of, am I going to need part of this? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and light that up green. Now, one of the things that you want to do is you want to make sure that you are um, clicking all the white balance, um, making everything so that you can control everything that you need in your editing. So here's another one. So we're going to go ahead and light this up. And we're going to bring down the blues. Now, I thought about this and I'm like, do I really need to do this? And in this case, no, I don't. And the reason why I say that is because I already shot this with a flash. So if I white balance this to the flash and there's that yellow tone colors, that's the light of what I want to come in through the window. So I'm actually going to leave that and I'm going to go back. So we're going to reset this and get the actual tone of what was coming in there. So same thing with here and same thing with this one. So I thought these were great. So I'm going to take these images, one, two, three, four. I'm going to take my flash and then my ambient and I'm going to edit. I'm going to open this up into Photoshop. Now looking at this now, I could have taken these carpets out. Um, again, this is for real estate photography. Uh, if this was for an interior designer, we did, we would you know spent a little bit more time to kind of um, move things around and kind of set it up and staged it a little bit more. But you know we're trying to get in and out of doing these real estate shoots within a certain time frame, not to disturb the homeowners and everything else. So, uh, you know, taking these little extra steps um, is it going to make a big difference? I'm not sure, but I'm there. I can take that risk. I can um, go ahead and experiment. And I've done this before, so I know that the risk is worth it. Um, so we're going to bring it in. Let's see if it was. So as I load these all up into Photoshop, here we go. So there is our base image, or what I'm going to say is going to be our flash image, which is directly behind. Now there's our ambient image, which I told you I might need. And then we start going through the flashes of the left side, the right side, the middle, and then finally, that's it. So I'm going to start with this image right here as being the main image and that's the flash that comes in and lights up through the bathtub. I'm then going to take this image here and I'm going to press option, uh, sorry press control and let's back that up because that wasn't right. My bad, we're going to press option like I said the first time and I'm going to now paint in, okay, I'm going to paint in at about 40% opacity, I'm going to start to paint in a little bit of that window. So this whole basically left side. All right. Good. So that looks good. Now let's do the right side. And is that is the right side? No, it's not. This is the right side. There it is. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Same thing. Go ahead, paint in everything streaming in from that left side or right side. Sorry. And brush that up. All right. So that's done so again bring in all this sunlight oops press X let's back that up we don't want to do that uh, we want that in there yes all right so now that that's done let's go ahead and start taking a look at what I need to maybe entice this image a little bit more and that's going to be our flash image directly over we're going to go ahead and press option. And now this is where you can kind of choose how much you want to. Okay, let's go press X. Uh, how much you want to maybe bring in a little bit more um, of that flash layer behind and maybe tone down a little bit of the sunlight that's, or fake sunlight, anyways, that's coming in. Uh, and brighten everything else up. So again, this is all, and you can see here, I'm able to pull back the blinds so that they're not too overexposed from the flash that was there. And I had the other one that came back up. Uh, and that's it. So from that, I'm going to take my 
last image, which is that ambient. And I'm going to see if I even need this. Um, I like the way all the shadows are coming in through the ceiling. Um, there's not really a need for this. Nope, I don't think so. I actually like, yeah, I like the way this is. So we're just gonna delete that. Yes, so that's it, it's done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just kind of zoom in and, and kind of take a look to see if there's anything else. Because ideally this is kind of gonna be the crop that I'm gonna go for. Um, you know, I could, I think I could brighten up a little bit more of bathtub just from the inside. Yeah, just so our eyes really kind of focus more on what's on that inside there. Very nice. And we'll take this. You know, the thing about this is this really is kind of, you know, my, I say it's like you're painting, but ultimately you're just trying to create an image that is a little bit more uh, pleasing to look at. So I'm good with that. I think that looks overall really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten that image. Press OK. I am then going to save it, then bring that back into Lightroom. And then from there, I'm gonna do my usual shadow bumps, bring my highlights. I'm gonna play around with this exposure a little bit more. I'm gonna bring up the dehaze. Some people like to use a clarity. I go, I jump between them back and forth, kind of really just to see how much I need. Um, saturation and colors, a little bit, maybe about four or five. I'm gonna still go in and I'm going to tone down the blues. There's nothing here that's gonna affect it, so I'm just gonna pull the blues completely out and the aquas. I'm gonna take that all out. So there's absolutely no blues or aqua colors coming in from the outside. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and do chromatic aberration. I am then also going to do an auto alignment, which really shouldn't be much because I already had that set. Um, and that's it, guys. And then I might do just a little bit of a small vignette, but before I do the vignette, I'm going to recrop this. So I'm gonna bring this crop down. I don't wanna see the left side of that wall and I don't wanna see that light fixture. I think we can tell a story well enough from that picture there so go ahead and press ok and that's pretty much it now I did notice there's a little bit of color cast some green colors that are up here and so what we can do is we can go into the saturation colors here click on this click on that and just go down and up and that will kind of change how much is there you can see the yellows kind of coming down the greens coming down but it affects all of the image so um, I'm gonna go into Photoshop and kind of play around with that um, this is strictly just a ceiling preference um, this green reflection uh, I'm not really sure where it's coming in from to be honest with you there's nothing that's green here but I do see some green cast colors that are here so I'm gonna go ahead and mask this all out and then I'm going to remove the green from inside here. But, you know, if this was just, and this is just for real estate, I'm just doing this for the tutorial purpose. Um, I'm going to try to basically show you guys how to remove all this green color cast that's here. All right, guys, so that's done. So let's bring this back into Photoshop. go all right guys so the first thing that we're gonna do is get it nice and close here again this is strictly for the sake of the tutorial I am going to and there's actually a rip it looks like something that they're gonna have to fix here but I'm gonna go ahead and start and yeah, we'll go about there and we're gonna mask out the ceiling. The ceiling is supposed to be white. However, we do not see that. Right now, All right, guys, I'm gonna take you through this and speed it up a little bit, and uh, we'll jump right back into it. All 
All right, guys. So um, as you can see, what I did was I clicked on our property adjustments here, hue and saturation. Picked on that little guy, clicked it over here. We want to basically remove this color, so we're just gonna go ahead and now. Now you can see if I overdid it, that really looks like a white ceiling, um, which is pretty much what it is when I was there. Um, I can, you know, that's overly done. It's not realistic. There's gonna be a little bit. Um, so right about there, uh, I feel is a good kind of starting point. Um, you know, you don't wanna play with this, color too much the actual hue because there's not that effect but more of the saturation um, the brightness you know you can always kind of watch out for that too but just kind of control it but that is a white ceiling we took away a lot of that color cast that's there so that looks good I'm gonna go in and go ahead and repair these little parts over here all right so very simply we are going to, what are we going to do? This is a, this is gonna be more of just kind of painting this in. There we go. And we're just gonna get at that. Oops. And my bad, undo brush. We can take this, take this color and now so that's not working. So sometimes what you're going to have to do is take this and just kind of, there we go. And deselect it. And let's go ahead and fix this up a little bit. So we're going to take that should have done it. Now you can see what happened there. You see that line. So you got to kind of have to be careful when you do stuff like that. Um, you know, this is, not always something that always works. Um, that one did work. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to. Very little. There we go. Good. Okay, and there's one more over here. Yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and line that out. And bring that up. That takes care of that. All right, so this is still bothering me. Don't really like the way that came out. So I'm gonna try to fix that again. We're gonna go from there. And so we're pretty much done. Um, just check some of these details. Looks nice and crisp, nice and sharp. Um, yeah, so that's it guys, I hope that was able to inspire you to kind of work on different techniques and different things that you can do to make your images pop a little bit more. Before I leave you, I am gonna make one more adjustment here. I am going to take this and I believe there's some green right down here. We're gonna get rid of that. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, and there, there it is there. You can see a lot of that green. So we just took that out as well. And Yeah, that looks good. All right, so we took out that little bit of green that's there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it through the YouTube compression, but it looks good to me. Um, and that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, subscribe, share if you like my videos. If there's anything else that you'd like to see, please feel free to send me a direct message or leave the comments down below. Thank you very much. Matthew Stallone here from Stallone Media signing out. Take care.